Hi folks, it's Aileen and this is my third day of vlogging on updating my own kitchen. So it's actually, uh, you know I'm a day behind with the vlogging, so it's actually day four that we've been working. Um, but my third day vlogging, which is why you probably think, you know, why have you got so much done? Because we're actually on day four. But I didn't get an awful lot done yesterday because um, I've been busy in the shop. Uh, we've had a lot of workshops uh, and classes, private classes booked this week. Everybody seems to be wanting to learn decoupage. So I've only got, for two of the days, I've only actually got a half day. And you need to, that's hard enough because you need to, when you get in, you need to get in and get it done. But uh, I showed you the kitchen, most of the kitchen yesterday and how that's all done. And I told you I wasn't happy with this dresser, do you remember? So um, we were so happy with the color of the table, the beautiful pale blue on the table, that I didn't want to match it, as in I didn't want to paint it the same, but I wanted it on the same tone because this end of the room was just bland. It had no character to it, like the, the kitchen end with the gray and the antique white. So after a, a lot of sample potting, we eventually picked the blue that's on the table, but in a couple of shades darker, which is what this is now. I have it in my hand because uh, I've been, although I spent all day at this yesterday, uh, it's still not done because it's a huge piece of furniture and the outside needed painting and the inside. So we had to take out all of that. Oh, and, uh, do you know what? The worst bit, if anybody asks me, what is the worst bit about painting your kitchen? It would be the, the blooming cleaning, the cleaning, the decluttering, the absolute crap you find in every drawer and every cupboard that you've gathered for years and you think, Whoa, oh. So even to the point where I have another pile, I'll show you here in a minute, another pile on the floor. See if I can turn this around. Um, no, that takes a photograph. Hold on a sec. No, I can't turn this around, so I'll, I'll aim it at the floor. That's all crockery that's going to a charity shop um, shortly. But yeah, have a look at this. So I'll try and get it back as far as I can. Um, this is the colour we decided on, and I have to say it's absolutely beautiful, or it will be when it's finished, with the white on the inside. And it just adds a bit of character to the room. I'm going around here to show you uh, from this angle. As you can see, the, the kitchen table is the paler version, and then that is the darker version. And this um, linen cupboard over here that at the moment is in the green, that's going into seagull grey today. So then this end of the room is going to be finished. Now, some of you have asked me what colour am I painting the chairs? Okay, ah, let's talk about that. I am not painting the kitchen chairs. Under no circumstances am I painting those kitchen chairs. For two reasons. One, they, the colour of them, you can see the colour there. That is also in the kitchen over here, uh, the larger presses. These are all this wood color. So it ties in the kitchen end with the dining room end. So that's number one. Uh, but the second reason is because I painted kitchen chairs before and they turned out to be an absolute disaster, right? Because I live with wreckers. Dogs, kids, husband, wreckers, right? And I, the kitchen chairs lasted only a few months before they started looking really bad. Now, admittedly, this was quite a few years ago. I didn't know as much as I do now about painting. I was chalk painting still then. And I believed the marketing that you don't have to do any prep. So I literally just put chalk paint on over these rosewood chairs. And of course, and I waxed them. So of course, within a few months, they all started to chip and then the wax was getting filthy and I couldn't clean it without taking the wax off. And I couldn't actually repaint these in a good, strong paint without taking all that wax off. 
and I was just not about to do that. I mean, I'm running a business as well. I mean, I'm not superwoman. So those chairs got turfed out and I found these beautiful ones uh, on a first sale site at the Chevy Sheep Buy and Sell Ireland. I found them on the, that site in a town just down the road from me and they were 10 euro each. And they're so solid and they're beautiful. They match them with this kitchen. So no, I'm not painting the chairs. Uh -uh. But I do have to get the ceiling painted because the auctioneer was in yesterday and he loved the kitchen, but he said the ceiling is now shouting at the rest of it because the rest of it is so beautiful. I am not doing, doing the ceiling myself. I'm going to get someone in to do that. Tommy said he'd have a go, but I really don't want that. Because I don't want all my beautiful paintwork being wrecked. So I'm going to get someone in to do the ceiling. And, uh, and then I've decided I have to move into the utility room because that is really bad. And I'm going to do that in the grey and the antique white. And then I'm moving into the sitting room. So the whole house is going to get... And that, this is what happens, isn't it? You start with one room and it turns out so amazing that you then have to move to the rest of the house. So if you want to keep following me, you're going to get a look at the whole house being done. Um, but that's it for today. So what I have to do today, I have to finish off this dresser uh, with the blue and the white. And then I'm moving over to that big linen cupboard and that's going to be seagull and i still have one door of the kitchen to finish but i have got the whole day because i'm not in the shop today so i should get all that done then i'm going to clean the floor get it all looking gorgeous and i'll give you a final few pictures okay that's for today